According to the latest official information, floods in the southeast of Azerbaijan covered a 76,000 hectare area. On May 7th, during the emergency meeting of the government, this figure was noted to be 55,000 hectares. At the end of April, 20,000 houses remained under the water, and pastures and cultivation fields were covered with water as a result of the Kerr River's flooding. About 70,000 people were forced to leave their homes. However, independent experts believe that the figures concerning the areas that remained under the water were intentionally reduced. According to our research, the floods damaged 120,000 hectares, said Towards Healthy Life NGO head Sadiq Hassanov during today's meetings of the Kerr Civil Society Organization. Hassanov, who touched upon the causes of the floods, said that the increase in the density of the mud in the river and the destruction of the Tugai forests along the source of the Kerr River played the largest role in the floods. According to the ecologists, the lands in the areas covered with water will need seven to eight years to recover. Creating forests along the river again will need even more time. Experts also consider that changing the course of the Arads River was not the right step. A part of the wheat fields in the Mishli region already remained underwater as a result of changing the course of the Araz River. Eleven villages face danger from floods. The newly opened branch of the river is a canal, which has a 50 meter width and a 1 meter depth. The situation remains wo more severe in Salian, Mishli, and Sabirabad regions. The height of water in Asar Gbeli village, which is underwater, reached 2 meters. Ten of 80 houses were destroyed. Other houses face this danger more from day to day, said village resident Arzuman Methiev in the meeting of Kerr Civil Society Organization. The humanitarian situation in the flood zone shows that the government does not take enough measures to solve social problems of the internally displaced persons. There's a lack of drinking water in two schools in the center of Sabirabad region where the IDPs were settled. There are not conditions to take a bath or wash clothes. Civil society representatives noted that the government does not give accurate information about the real situation in the disaster zone and does not respond to information inquiries. Kerr Civil Society Organization adopted an appeal regarding the situation and called upon the government to strengthen its operation in the flood zone and provide correct information about the real situation and take comprehensive steps.